All right, guys, how's it going? Just got home from work. It's Friday, and uh, yeah, this box was waiting for me. Now, I've been waiting on a package to arrive um, of two records, and uh, it's arrived in this absolutely outrageous box. So we'll see what sort of state it's in in here. Okay, I was getting ready to slag this off, but I mean, this is pretty incredible, actually. This is, I mean, this would have done probably. So, fair play. Fair play. Okay, we're away up to the. Um, up, how's it going? We're away up to the. There's a junk shop open on Sundays. I've got a bit of a hard on for Harry Potter books right now, so I'm gonna go see what they've got up there, see if I can find anything. Um, in the meantime, we'll go and see what's in that box. It was record, so I mean, it's fairly obvious what's gonna be in there, but let's go and have a look anyway. Hey guys, just so you're not left in suspense for any longer, I got a paperback, Deathly Hallows, so I'm going to get the full paperback set, I guess, of this original UK covers, so that'll be sweet. And then just any Philosopher's Stones I can find from now on I think I'll be buying, because it's not like I don't need another thing to collect, so... I also found these when I was there, um, I just can't help myself, 1970s ladybirds are, I just love them, they're like, like a uh, matte finish, this is British wildflowers, and this one is how to make presents, and just look how terrifying that is, I need to find out how to make that, so yeah, these are just really cool little, I'm sure I've done, spoke about these before, they're just cool little books, um, uh, this one here, for example, Road Sense, it kind of, it's like a kid's a school book essentially teaching you about road safety and there'll be various um, like early reading books in this ladybird and then these kind of, this is under a conservation heading, um, so there's other ones, Wildlife in Britain, What on Earth Are We Doing, I need to find that, uh, Understanding the Sea, Nature in Town, all that kind of things, they're all based on themes. And yeah, how to make presents. There's all different sorts of how to make. So yeah, and anything can be made into a, a ladybird basically. But these kind of 70s ones, before they started, they changed their art style and they came out with like laminated books and stuff. And they're still nice, but these 70s ones are really nice. And the 60s ones kind of before this were quite often just blank covers. So, 70s are the ones you want. Oh, I said 70s a lot there. Uh, I've actually got a comic book this week. Uh, none of my... Uh, none of my pull list has arrived yet. Once again, the Royal Mail. I get stuff through the door pretty much every day. And uh, it's never my new comic books. So, I don't know what the hell's going on there. But I got this one. This is showcase number 73. I recently watched the Steve Ditko... Uh, documentary again by Jonathan Ross on YouTube and it just rekindled the fire for Ditko so this is the first appearance of the creeper uh, and there's I want I want a question first well first solo question uh, mysterious suspense number one so hopefully next month I'll be able to pick that up this is really nice condition it's probably a six so it's I don't have to pay ridiculous amounts of money for it and it's still all like nice nicely bound and everything so it's a decent reading copy it's just a decent copy to have without spending stupid money uh, this book the guy must have been sick when he he sold this obviously expecting it to make a lot of money this is the Pokemon sticker album from uh, 99 I maybe want to say I used to have this when I was younger, I completed it and then lost it, don't know where it's gone. So I managed to buy a completed one for £3. I was the only person to bid on it. Um, I've got an extra sticker of Misty here. Looking at through these online, there are lots of them. This should have come with a poster which is missing. Uh, all the ones with a poster are 30 quid. so I got this for 3 Um 
I'm not even sure. There might be it might have been a few stickers on the poster, so. But I've got this book is completed, if you see what I mean. I remember those two shiny Mew stickers. I had the one on the left, the gold one. I had about four of them. And I just couldn't get this guy. I'm sure when my I think my brother eventually managed to find it for me. It was the last one I needed. But these were like the I'm sure the annual was free, or it was a pound or something. And then the stickers were 30p for a pack of six, maybe. So, you know what I mean? I got £1.50 every day for my lunch. I got a chipper for a pound. A packet of stickers and uh, like a sweetie or something for 20p. I, I was doing really well. I was getting a pack of these every day. But yeah, really chuffed to have this back. Um, there is also, I don't know if anybody's into this kind of thing, but there's other stickers here dated 2000. They're different size. That's the size of the stickers in this book. So these are from a different set and I don't know what it is, so if anybody does know, maybe nobody cares, but there's that. Uh, what was in the box? It's going to be pretty clear what was in the box. Um, it was Beatles records. I got two this week and uh, I got Let It Be. Uh, no, I didn't. I got Abbey Road and I got Let It Be. So this is the last two. Beatles album. So I now have from Revolver to the end. I'm missing the first five, I think it maybe is. Is Rubber Soul before Revolver? I think Rubber Soul's first. I've got from Rubber Soul to the end. But I was really happy with these. Um, the guy said this one had a scratch, which I think put a lot of people off the listing. Um, and it wasn't very clear that this cop this disc came with it. The listing said Abbey Road and Let It Be, but the picture, the main picture, was just a picture of Abbey Road. Um, so uh, £9.50, and I got both of them. Um, and I washed the record, and it plays fine. So got myself a real good deal there. So I got two records for you know less than what I was paying, half the price pretty much of what I was paying for those brand new ones that are coming out. So I think I'm just going to I think I'm just going to stop buying them and just buy the next one to come out is Beatles for Sale. So I'm going to see if I can get if I can get a Beatles for Sale by this time next week for under 16.99 then I'm not I'm not buying that set anymore. It's not worth the money. Um the only one I'll wait for is the Beatles at the BBC because that'll be 25 quid from this brand new set. And they're about 45 online, so that's what I'll do. Um, we've got heaps more stuff, but uh, I'm going to just stop here because there's like a dog thing on the go next door I want to take Finn to. Uh, so we'll go and see what's going on there. I don't know what Finn's going to be like, but we'll go and see. It was all a bit too much for you, wasn't it, buddy? Another thing I got this week was this Funko Pop from Davis. He sent me... Uh, yeah, he sent me this because... I always say that I've never got pops and I don't really want to get started. Well, that Golden Age one's pretty sweet though. The purple gloves. But yeah, Davis has gone ahead and sent me one. So hopefully this isn't the downward spiral. But I appreciate it, Davis. Thanks very much. Awesome. Check out. Check it out. No mouth at all. Batman doesn't need a mouth. He just needs his fists. Okay, working at a wedding tonight. I'm doing the bar. So, I've got some wine ready. Um, I just want to show you this place. We've just had, like, the worst rain ever. It's thunder and lightning and everything. It's knocked the power out. So we don't have any electricity. But check this place out. So the electricity is going to be interesting, all the beer is going to be warm. Spitsex, I'd like to mention the comic book rookie, and uh, um, I'd also like to mention, uh, I believe his channel is called uh, Cycle9. Um, Mark Walters may have... Alright, um, that just watching Riggs video there reminded me I need to do a video for this. Um, for doom so uh yeah i'm gonna leave it here this week guys and we'll um 
We'll see you again. Have I got a scratch on my face? I'll uh, see you next week. Take it easy.